What's the deal with smoke grenades? Are they good? Are they bad? Is doing a Jerry Seinfeld impression topical or funny in 2024? <laughs> we know the answer to one of these questions already, but when talking about smoke viability, it's a little more complex. Smokes feel like a little bit of a black sheep in this game. I mean, toxic gas already exists, and it's just a smoke that deals damage, right? It seems pretty open and shut. But it's more complicated than that. To fully understand the smoke grenade, we have to look at a brief history of how we got here. The first instance of a smoke grenade I can find was made in 1848 by Robert Yale, but nobody cares because Counter-Strike saw that and was like, MINE! Smokes in Counter-Strike Source were an incredibly valuable tool. You could smoke off sight lines so you don't get shot at, you could smoke off a choke point which made pushing through a dumb move, and you could use them to plant or defuse a bomb with some cover. Every time you buy this thing, you're gonna be able to use it in the round you're in. Fast forward a few decades, CSGO handles smokes the same way. Apex, a uh, a Apex had smokes, I guess. Whoa, Valorant drops, and hey, look at this. Uh, well, they, they kind of did smokes the same way too, but you can use recon abilities to see people behind smokes. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, Counter-Strike 2 comes along and kills CSGO and creates a whole new dynamic smoke system. Fun! Too bad that just a few months later the finals would release, because their smoke system was already created. Meaning that instead of having this fancy new tech, we are stuck with smoke grenades that work similar to how they did almost 20 years ago. And let me tell you, sometimes when using these smokes, it feels like it's older. Sometimes you can see perfectly through the smokes. Other times you can still see silhouettes. And most of the uses from CS no longer apply. What sightlines are you going to be smoking off all that often? What major choke points are you smoking off that can't be avoided via a hole in the wall? Those are two really big uses that have been mostly negated because of how much of a different setting this type of utility was made for. But, but wait a minute, just because Counter-Strike is by far the most popular example of a useful smoke grenade in an FPS game, doesn't mean that the finals intended for it to be used like Counter-Strike. The finals is a very unique game, and even though smoke grenades that look like the ones in the finals have existed for almost 20 years, it's likely the developer's intentions are to use it very differently. Okay, so we can't use smoke grenades to block off sightlines, and we can't effectively nullify choke points. Maybe we could use it for capping cash outs. Take a look at this clip. My teammates are up on the roof, too afraid of capping the cash out because of the threat of dying to the team protecting the cash out. But I'm not afraid because I've got two smokes in my pocket. Remember what I was saying at the start of the video? No, not the Seinfeld bit. The fact that gas grenades are just better smokes because they can do damage? Well, I think that this clip more than justifies its existence in the game. With a gas grenade, I would have died in this scenario, and we wouldn't have capped this point. Because the smoke grenade is a light class only grenade, that means that it's the light class's only cover outside of goo when capping a cash out. But cash outs aren't the only thing smokes can be used for, because unlike in Counter-Strike, teammates can be revived in the finals. And if there's one thing teammates like doing, it's dying. Over. And over again. That's why almost everybody runs Defibrillator on medium class. But the light class can't, and sometimes a defib won't be an option because it's on cooldown. Or, you know, the medium class is deceased. I would compare using the smoke this way to using the heavy's bubble shield to do the same thing. But I think there's an argument to be made that this is better than the heavy's bubble shield because there's no way to clear a smoke. Which brings me to another use for it. Using the smoke to cancel and clear out fire, which I suppose was also possible in Counter-Strike, huh? Oh well, I'll just put some on-screen text and it'll probably be fine. Anyway, you can totally be a firefighter in this game. Just throw the smoke on the fire and it'll disappear like the great Harry Houdini's pulse on Halloween. But did you know that there's a hierarchy of effects in this game? Just like how you can throw smokes on fire to make them disappear, you can throw fire on gas to make it disappear. Wow, Gallantry, really cool. How is this possibly relevant at all? Give me a second, man! Pin of shame! This is relevant because the light class can equip both fire and smoke, making them two abilities shy of being the avatar. Seriously though, this means that light can single-handedly remove gas with fire, and then remove fire with smoke, meaning that if one effect is covering the cash out, it's not a problem, because the light class has got it covered. If we were trying to make a loadout that makes the most of the smoke, then we are for sure including the fire grenade. But what about the other slots? Well, let me just say, I love the invis bomb. It allows you to move around with so much freedom. The problem is that it doesn't make you completely invisible. Hmm. If only there is a way to make myself slightly less visible in this game. The invis bomb fixes the issue of silhouettes and disappointing smoke turnout because, well, you're invisible. 
The invisibility already makes you really hard to spot, and when you combo it with a smoke, it makes it basically impossible. I prefer the invis bomb over the active camo ultimate thing in most loadouts, however, for this smoke based loadout, we're gonna go with the active camo, because we need the third utility slot for this next item. Try and remember back to when I was talking about the smokes of games past. I talked about how Valorant had changed how smokes are used in FPS games. Because the game has an inclusion of recon abilities that more or less give you wall hacks, letting you shoot through a smoke at someone who can't shoot back at you. Well, would you believe it, but the finals has the same kind of recon abilities. Most notable are on the medium class, such as the recon grenade or tracking dart. And would you believe it, but the light class has some of their own recon utility as well. Pick your poison for this one, really. Thermal vision or the motion sensor. Most of my clips are with the proximity sensor, but the thermal vision is good too. Anyway, with this loadout, you're going to be able to shoot through smokes with precision, meaning that you could pick up something precise for a weapon. The LH-1 has been receiving a lot of praise recently, so I'm going to have to recommend that. This clip with the throwing knives would have went a lot better if I had the LH-1 to spam down the bubble shield. Instead, I have to go in behind this heavy and hit him, which does get him off the cash out, and he can't find me because of the smoke. But distraction isn't factored into my KD, alright? I still wish I got that kill. Alternatively, you could have ran the dagger here, which would have killed him sooner. But because the dagger combos well with the evasive dash, and we aren't running that here, I would recommend trying to change up the loadout a little bit more if you want to run the dagger. Really, the weapon isn't really important for this loadout. Just as long as you can deal damage, you're pretty good. Also something to note, this loadout pairs really well with a medium class on your team that is running multiple recon items. In Team Fortress 2, a lot of the subclasses have names. I think the final should be the same, which is why I'm naming this subclass... The Lit Class. They're pretty chill, you know? They can make things mellow out by stopping all that chaotic gas and fire and just going for a nice smoke. And when you're defending the cash out, bro, you know they've got your back, man. Easy smoke plus recon com, bro. Free kills for the homies. Plus, he'll help you out when you're feeling down. You know what I'm saying? Overall, he's pretty lit. <laughs> um, th thanks for making it this far, y'all. I hope you'll agree that the smokes in this game aren't useless. They just require a lot of attention. Making this whole loadout around them makes them viable, but sometimes I feel like there are better options out there. Try out the lit class and tell me how you fare. Until next time. See ya. Dude, I can't believe I have to do a Jerry sign for a bit. Dude, honestly, it might not be too late to change it to John Mulaney. I'm like, I'm like way better. I'm like way better than John Mulaney. I know it doesn't make any sense, but like... What's the deal with these smoke grenades anyway? Are they good? Are they bad? Is doing a... Uh, what's my name again? John Mulaney, that's it. Is doing that topical. That's topical and funny. I just went on a tour. Jerry Seinfeld's been retired for like 20 years. I'm, I'm dropping the accent.